Hi. Now in this question, we're given that 5x squared plus px minus 8 is equal to q multiplied by all of x minus 1 squared and then plus r. And it's valid for all values of x. And what we've got to do is find the values of the constants p, q and r. So if you'd like to try this, as usual, I'll give you time to pause the video and uh, when you're ready, come back and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, with something like this, this is not really an equation. It's got equals here. I don't like to use this equals. I like to think of this as an identity because it's true for all values of x. So I'm going to write 5x squared plus px minus 8 is identical to q multiplied by x minus 1, all squared plus r. Now if you don't write the identical sign, not all is lost, okay? You can still get the same answers as I get, but I do think you should really be encouraged to write the identical sign. Okay, now to do something like this, it looks like we're completing the square. It's got the form of completing the square. But I'm going to tackle this in a different way, purely because normally when I'm asked to complete the square, I've got a number here. And in this one, as you can see, I've got the letter P, which I feel just alters the style of the way that we go about this one. So what I'm going to do is expand the right-hand side and then compare it to the three terms that I've got here. And I should be able to compare the coefficients of x squared, x and the constant here and work out my values. So if we do that, okay, just expanding the bracket, we've got q multiplied then by x minus 1 multiplied by another x minus 1 and then plus r. And if we expand x minus 1 all squared, what we get is x squared, okay, and then we get minus x minus another x, which is minus 2x. And then we get minus 1 multiplied by minus 1, which is plus 1. And then we've got plus r on the end there. Now if I expand the bracket out here with the q, I'm going to get qx squared. And then I'm going to get minus 2qx. Minus 2qx. And then I get plus q. Plus q. And then we get plus r. Now, the first thing I notice is that over here, I've got three terms. And over here, on the right, I've got four terms. Now, I've got an x squared term, x squared term, x term, x term, constant on the end here, and two terms here which are constants. So what I'm going to do is group them up, like so, and I've now got my one constant term. So I've got three terms now. So I can compare the coefficients of each of our terms, okay? So let's just write this down, therefore compare coefficients, okay? And we've got compare coefficients of what? Well, we'll take x squared first of all. If we look at x squared, you can see that we've got 5x squared here and qx squared. So we can see that q must be equal to 5. Okay? So that's our first value up, so that was nice and quick. Now, if we look at the next term, our x term, okay, we're going to compare the coefficients, so that's the value in front of the x. So here we've got plus p, or just simply p, and this must be equal to minus 2q. But we already know that q equals 5. So just say, but q equals 5. So therefore, p must be equal to minus 2 times 5. In other words, minus 10. So we now got our value for p. So we now just turn to the last term, q plus r, which is a constant. And it compares to the constant here, minus 8. So if we just say we compare constants, okay, constants, then what we've got is q 
plus r, all right, must be equal to minus eight. And again, we know that in this q, we just found it out, was five, but q equals five. So therefore, we've got five plus r equals minus eight. And if we subtract five from both sides, you end up with r equaling minus 13. So there's our three values. I'm going to just summarize at the end. We've got therefore p is minus 10, q is five, and r equals minus 13. All right.